So guys, welcome back to my video today. I have today a beautiful topic and it's how to be flexible. You have to understand that flexibility has got to do with scheduling. And it's really your schedule in terms of your 24 hour day. And how are you going to make your schedule much more flexible? Because those people who are flexible are able to work at any time. I mean, they're able to do anything at any time. Do you understand? I mean, they're able to go travel the world right now and just go. I mean, there's nothing holding them back. So how do you become flexible so that you can achieve more? You'll understand that no matter what, to become flexible, which is the topic of this discussion in this video, you'll understand that no matter what, that we always have a discussion about everything that's much better. So we talk about anything that's positive, such as flexibility. You understand that flexibility is something to do with yourself being able to do anything at any time. So in order for yourself to be able to go around the world and schedule a life that's much more worth it, you need to be a person who's really much more worth it. So you need to be a person who's really finding new ways of thinking and new ideas to make sure that your life is a much better one than yesterday. Because those people who are serious about what they're doing and they're never whiners and complainers and they're never making excuses, are always going to be the ones who are on the offense about life and the ones who are on the offense about life are going to find a better way to deal with life and also to have less mental health issues and are going to find ways to be more confident and more focused and always they're going to find that passion and they're going to stick with it and be consistent and more disciplined throughout time you understand that no matter what that flexibility has everything to do with discipline so those people who are more disciplined are going to be able to really, really be more successful because as Brian Tracy says, the greater your measure of self-discipline, the greater your measure of self-success. You understand that no matter what happens, guys, <clears throat> you need to be a person that is really saying something that's really going to help you. I, for example, use I am ritual better. I, I am ritual better because, guys, you have to understand that no matter what, when you need to forgive, you just say, I'm rich or better. Because that way, you understand that the all better at the end of your I am statement, you understand that I'm only positive statements. You have to understand that positive people are going to be much more flexible than those people who are negative. You need to be a person who's really doing something in according to traveling the world and making sure that no matter what on the road, that you're doing something of business value while you're at it. I mean, I'm at a hostel right now. And I'm still doing this video and I'm here for one hour because guess what? I'm here for longer than one hour, although I'm doing this video for one hour. You'll understand that no matter what, that those people who are more scheduled in terms of life and they're planning it, I mean, they're planning their schedule and you have to understand that your schedule is always going and you're always being a better reasoning person in terms of life. So you have to understand that a reasoning person is a person who needs to realize to live in the heart and never think about it because a reason is to just flow much better you have to understand that those people who reason much more are going to be more successful because they live in the feelings more you understand because no matter what those people who have no thinking are going to be much more flexible because they've got nothing to think about anymore you understand because there's no thinking in life you just go and do it you have to understand, to be flexible, you need to be able to go and do whatever it is you need to do, and do it now. I mean, you need to realize that action will make you more flexible. You'll be a more flexible person when you're getting more ideas, and when you're growing with people. I mean, go and grow alone, first of all. You realize no matter what, that you can grow. Although you need mentors and people to support you with information about what's happening, and also about spirituality, and realize no matter what. You understand? that you must always learn and grow. I mean, go and learn information that's really going to grow you. I mean, the worldly information will never grow you. I mean, what's happening out there in the TV, I mean, that's never important. You have to understand what's important is the information that Jesus has done and also that spirituality is and health and development in terms of personal development and confidence building and focus building and communication building because that is what changes the world <clears throat> you understand that those people who are better their communication are going to look better are going to feel better are going i probably should they're going to 
feel more flexible. I promise you they're going to look better. You'll understand that no matter what, you need to be that type of person who's really digging into knowledge and realize that the more knowledge you have, the more flexible you are. How? Because you understand. I, I realize because you understand that no matter what happens, you'll be a person of great integrity when you have much more knowledge to back yourself up about what you're saying. Because when you're a person who's really doing much more than everybody else, you're going to have a much more flexible time. I'll understand that no matter what, that flexibility means success. I mean, a flexible time is a successful time. You understand that no matter what, that those people who have no time are never flexible. So what you need to do is you need to find more time management skills. I'll give you some time management skills here. I have time management skills with sobriety. So I never have to go to a pub anymore. I never have to go to a bar anymore. I never have to go to a nightclub anymore. I never have to go out and about after 6 p.m. You understand? I mean, after 6 p.m. to 10 a.m., I'm indoors. I mean, I'm inside accommodation. I mean, I don't care about what happens after 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. in the world out there because it's all night time. I never care about that. So, guess what? I have from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. something to do inside my accommodation. I mean, I go online, I educate myself, I write down in my journal, I upload quotes, I upload my content, I'm engaging people, I'm marketing people, I'm in, I'm giving free love and I'm doing these life coaching videos and I'm doing something around my business inside accommodation because being in a nightclub and chasing a woman has nothing to do with helping you. You understand that no matter what, that those people who are always out and about late at night and in a park smoking weed, I mean, they are low lives. I mean, they've got nothing to do. You need to be a person who has something to do all the time. So I just gave you a few time management techniques because those people who realize that their time is valuable are going to find better ways to use their time. So some of my ways is be sober and forget the toxic people. So I never go around toxic people because guess what? When I see a person drinking beer, I may go up to them to just give them my promotion and my Instagram and ask them how their day is and also to do, I, I may even coach them on something and also I may say something about myself that's much greater. I then leave them because they've seen me already. I go to a new person now because guess what? You never stick around the same people in life. You go and move yourself. I mean, you have to move yourself more and more in life so that you can become a better person. You have to understand that those people who have emotional ability and much more of it are going to be able to move more and be more athletic and be more healthy because that's what flexibility is. You understand? Because those people who are sick can never move. I promise you when you can never move, you're going to stay compact and you're going to stay in one area of your life and you're never going to grow. Because those people who grow more are doers. You understand? Because they're the ones who are really making sure that no matter what happens, that nothing offends them and also they're using their emotions and they're healthy people. I mean, they're never fat. I mean, they're never watching Netflix. I mean, when I say never watch Netflix, I mean, that's a time management technique to stay away from Netflix. I mean, as soon as you stay away from Netflix, you've got something better to do. I mean, I stay away from WWE wrestling and AEW wrestling and TNA wrestling and all the type of wrestling out there because guess what? I used to watch it and it's very negative because it teaches me nothing. I mean, it's just entertainment. I stay away from entertainment because that's a flexible remark for myself to be able to do something much greater than what I'm doing. You understand that no matter what happens, that you only become a better person throughout life. You only do something that's really going to be according to what you need to do that's much better. You understand that no matter what, the time techniques in terms of energy and where your energy is going is the most important aspect of your life. I mean, that is your diet. I mean, that is something that's really going to help you to move forward. You need to realize that those people who are really foundational in what they're doing are really people who need to do something much better to really live life. You need to realize that those people who are doing something to distract your video, you have to understand that no matter what, you just keep going and you just relax. Because, guys, it's about being ahead of the crowd. I mean, be ahead of the crowd, it's never just about the music. I mean, you have to understand that music is growth. I mean, you have to understand that music is growth. Although, I am a music producer, I am a electronic, I am an electronic producer. Although, you understand that words matter much more than music. You understand that those people who can communicate can also communicate their music. I mean, this whole video is a music realm. You understand? Because you understand that my communication teaches you something. I mean, you understand that music, when it's played, it's nice and enjoyable. I mean, that's it. 
I mean, when there's lyrics that can teach you in it, I can say it's much better. Although, when it's just instrumental music, you understand that it's just there to just help you enjoy. You understand that no matter what, that you just be a person who's never on the drugs. I mean, never be on the drugs cards. You understand? Because no matter what, when you're on the drugs, you're going to lose it. I mean, you're going to have no business. I mean, you're going to have fake people around you. And I promise you in 10 years' time, I promise you you'll be left alone. And you may be in jail. I mean, you may be a criminal. And I promise you that nobody will love you. Because guess what? When you're doing drugs, you don't even love yourself. So why should anybody else? You never should anything in life. I mean, why would anybody else love you? You understand? Because guess what? When you're shooting in life and when you must, I mean, when you must do something, it's a must. You must always do something. You never should do it. I mean, when you should do it, you will understand that you're really thinking about it. I mean, you're trying to do it. You never should. You just make it a must in life. You just go and really find out how to become more successful because it's a must. You must do it. I mean, it's a need. I mean, it's something like you having to live in accommodation. I mean, if you don't find accommodation today, then guess what happens? You'll be on the street. So you must find accommodation today. And you must find how to learn much better. And it's the same aspect of life. You understand that those people are more serious about life, are going to grow, and are going to be more flexible throughout their days. You understand that no matter what, when you're impacting lives, you're going to be a much better person, and you're going to let go of what's going on. You're going to be a person who's really growing and foundational in what you're doing. Because guess what, guys? It's never time's up. You understand? Because those people who are really saying that you need a timeout or something, you have to understand that there is no timeout. You understand? I realize that many people will make these slangs and put branding in terms of chocolate, and and I promise you they'll, I promise you they're going to name it some name so they can make you grasp it, so that you can buy it, and so that you can realize that no matter what, it's never about buying. Although you will realize that many people lead you astray with chocolate and food and accommodation and with the world. You understand? So make sure that no matter what, you're always around positive people because you understand that no matter what, you're a person who's really, really much more beneficial than yesterday because you have to learn the skills. You have to learn what you need to do. You have to learn who you are first. You have to understand that you're a spiritual being living in a human body. I mean, you're something above this world. You're out of the world. You came into this world to experience life. I promise you, although, that life will pound you down when you are not more successful. You understand? So make sure no matter what, that you're always ahead of the crowd. Make sure that you're ahead of what you're saying. Make sure you're never abrupt to fall down. Make sure you're never distracted by people around you. And make sure that you're going with the flow while you're growing. Because those people are going while they're growing. You understand that no matter what, they're always going to be more like eagles in the air. I mean, I'd rather be an eagle than a duck. Because an eagle is going to fly alone while a duck is going to be in a pond all their lives. You understand? Because an eagle can fly across the ocean. You understand that no matter what, the ducks can fly too. Although an eagle is much better because guess what? An eagle goes alone in life. You understand that no matter what, guys, you just be a person who's really foundational in what you're doing. I mean... Make sure that you're always more successful. Make sure that you're doing something in accordance to ideas. And make sure that you're always listening to your heart and what it's saying. Because, guys, that's the way of life. You have to understand, that's the way to do something. You need to be a person who's really doing something in accordance to what you need to do. Although, do it much better than yesterday. And make sure you're just vibing. Make sure you're just being a person of integrity. Make sure you're always leading people to a greater life. Because that's what flexibility is. I mean, when you're lifting other people, you're going to be a person who's really able to do it. I mean, you're able to lift people. I mean, you're able to better your communication skills. I mean, you're able to get more serious about what you're doing. And you're able to do it on camera. And you're able to show your face. And you're able to be confident about it. And you're able to just enjoy and travel and be your own person in a better way. Because, guys, it's about a better way. So have more ideas in life and read and read and read. I will say that no matter what, within three days, I read 10 books. I've immensely gave myself more ideas to make sure that I can do my life coaching videos and also apply more information and be more motivated throughout life because when I have coaches and people who are constantly putting positivity in my mind, I mean, my mind's never my mind, although you understand that the mind is the ego, so I'm always living in the heart. 
I'm always listening to positive information. I'm never around drug addicts. I'm never around junkies and alcohol people. You understand that alcohol people, that even when they drink one sip of alcohol and one drop of alcohol, that they're alcoholics. You understand that? And I stay away from alcohol altogether because there is no moderation in life. You understand? It's either you go up or you go down. I mean, there is no justification for why you must drink poison in life. You must understand that there are people out there who are going to say that you must drink alcohol and it's because they are doing it and because the doctor said, I mean because the doctor said you must take 20 pills a day to make your life better and your heart better, I don't know about that because you understand that no matter what, that I take no pills, I take no drugs and I'm feeling better than ever. You understand that many people are lying and providing you pharmaceutical drugs so that you can get high. I promise you, although, that I'm never judging you, I don't know you, although you realize that no matter what, that many people are doing this. I'm not a person who's a drug addict. I'm not a person who's going out there to do any type of drugs because guess what? That is never the flexible way. I mean, the flexible way is doing better than yesterday. So I'm always a person who's never a drug addict. I'm always doing drug-free ways. And that is a way to... I really realize that that's the way to eradicate a much better way. You understand, no, no matter what happens, you always speak in a positive term and speak for the positive only. I mean, you can look at the negative and the positive sides and always make sure that you reason on the positive side because, guys, you need to stand for the positive and never for the negative. I mean, when you start off your video, you start off your video with a positive remark. I mean, when you end your video, you end it with a positive remark. You understand? I mean, throughout the consistency of this video, you must be positive about it. You must be consistent with what you are in life because otherwise you don't know what you're standing for. I mean, those people who don't know what they stand for have no passions, do you understand? So those people who have no passions have no flexibility. You need to have a passion. I mean, make yourself your passion. I mean, make your face your passion. I mean, as John Cena says, you can't see me. I mean, you have to understand that you can't see me means I love you anyway. I understand that no matter what, you have to understand that starting with the you, you understand that your face is much more important. You understand? Your face is something greater than Nike and Adidas brands and all these perfume brands and all these shoe brands and these car brands. You understand? Because when you put your face out there and you speak, I promise you that people are going to listen and people are going to be more inspired by you than a fucking car. You understand? Because guess what? You are much more important than the music being played in a nightclub. You are much more important than anybody else in your life. I promise you all though that you speak it much more. I need you to realize that you need to love yourself more to be more flexible. You need to be a person who's your best friend in life and you need to realize that life is going to hit you very hard. I mean, life is going to tumble you. You have to realize that no matter what, you get up. You get up and you realize that you be resilient and you never give up. I mean, make sure that no matter what, when you're even close to suicide, guys, make sure no matter what that you just calm it down and you have a sleep i mean i've been ha i've been having times before where i may commit suicide i fall asleep and i just sleep it off i sleep it off because guess what i live to fight another day you understand that no matter what that every single day my schedule is how to better my i mean how to better my day today because guess what i need, i don't care what's happening from one week today i don't care what's happening in one month today i mean yeah you understand that no matter what i only care about today i never, I never care about the future and what's going to happen because i'll be in down I'll, I'll be in down very soon and guess what i have to overcome this moment first to get there so my only goal today is to really be a better person today and do something today that's going to be inspirational and that's going to inspire somebody and it's going to inspire me every day because guess what i need to be inspired every single day by myself in jesus name because i always relate everything to jesus and that's just a personal preference you understand because i believe in something greater than me because jesus is greater than me you understand that no matter what that i'm just a person who's following jesus i'm a person who is a truth seeker i see the truth you understand i see it i believe it and i am it so no matter what i only spread the truth in what I do. I never spread the truth in what I say, I spread it in what I do. You understand? You understand that no matter what, that the truth is what you speak, is what you do. I promise you that is the truth. I promise you that when you live in that truth and that essence, I mean that is integrity. I mean, those people who live the talk are the ones who are honest about it. 
you understand that no matter what, do you be a person who is honest about it and truth and walking in that light? Because those people are never lying to anybody. I mean, they're really serious about themselves and their growth capacity. You need to have a potential in you to make sure that no matter what, you find your self-awareness because you have self-awareness right now. You have potential and you have talents. And you have abilities and the world needs to see it. So the best way you can do it is to show yourself on camera and to talk about it in a podcast and be an entrepreneur about it. I mean, what is that? I mean, talk about yourself. I mean, talk about yourself all day long because that's the honest way to get through life. I mean, that's the honest way to get through life in a much better way because you must be interested in yourself more than anybody else because otherwise nobody will be interested in you. I promise you when other people are interested in more, I promise you when other people are more interested in you, I promise you that never happens because guys, you must have level 10 success in order for others to be loving you at level 10 because you have to understand that when you love yourself, I promise you when you love yourself at level 1, I promise you other people will love you at level 1 too. I mean what you give is what you get so make sure that you give more and give freely because guys, you have to understand that those people who give freely are always going to have a much more flexible life because a flexible life is freedom. You understand? You go for the freeway. You go and find what is free to do today. You need to find something today that's really going to help you to move forward. You need to realize that when people are partying, I mean, you have to understand that this video for me is a party because guess what? I get to help you for something. I mean, when they're listening to music and they're suntanning in winter, you understand that no matter what, they've got nothing to do those people because they're together and they're listening to music and they're drinking alcohol because guess what? That's never going to help you, is it? I mean, never be one of those people who are at the beach parties all the time. You understand? Because guess what? A beach party is nice. I promise you that you go and see it. Although, you have to realize that sooner than later, you have to go and do your business. Because guess what? When I go into Byron Bay today, guess what? I look for where's the business today. I mean, where is my business today? I mean, my business is over there in the park where I went earlier because guess what? I have to do some photo shoots today. I have to do some photo shoots and when I get there, I'll do some photo shoots and I'll do another video in terms of life coaching because guys, no matter what, you have to understand that I need to step up. I need to step up as a leader and I have to step up for myself in Jesus' name so I can do better for myself in Jesus' name. I mean, you have to understand that I do something greater than I am. I mean, I don't even do it for myself anymore. I do it for something greater because that is what motivates me. I need to be better. I need to be a better person and I'm seeing results right now. You have to understand that it's really inside my communication skills and how I really abruptly do better. I do better because guess what? I'm reading more I'm reading more than ever. I'm doing better than ever. I'm communicating better than ever. I'm looking better than ever and I'm staying more consistent now than ever because guess what? I'm eating better than ever too and I'm more disciplined than ever. I'm also traveling more than ever because I have more money than ever. I did the habits to do that. You have to understand that I was doing my habits. I'm still doing my habits. I'm still improving my habits every day. And I'm always making sure that my communication is always growing because guess what? You have to look inside your communication every single day to realize that is how you're going to succeed. You understand? Because in the communication is your key to success. And you need to better your communication in order for you to get smarter. I promise you that when you better your communication skills, you will find flexibility much more. I promise you, it's in the smarts. I promise you, the smarter you are, the better you are. I mean, go and do what smart people do. I mean, what is smart? I mean, go and do what positive is. I mean, a positive person is much smarter than a negative one, so be around positive people. I promise you that what's positive in life, you just go and do that, and you work for that all your life. I mean, go and do that, because that's something for the higher good. I mean, negativity is the evil side. You understand? I mean, positivity is the good side. I mean, go and be on the good side and go and spread good vibes. Because nobody loves a drug addict and a sus person around them who's a pedophile. You understand? Because guess what? Those people are negative. You understand? I mean, you never need them around your kids. You understand? You have to understand that those people are going to ruin you. You have to understand that no matter what, you go and be a better person today because that is what attitude is. I mean, attitude is only gratitude when you're bettering you. I mean, attitude is only gratitude when you're bettering yourself. You have to understand that you better your attitude to have more gratitude. You be a person who's always connecting the dots and you look through inside your communication skills on how you're going to do everything. I mean, you have to understand that everything is every single day. I mean, go and do everything that you can. I mean, be all you can be. I mean, take the most photos of yourself. I mean, take the most videos of yourself and realize 
that you're always doing it. You're doing it. You're doing something to better your life. I mean, I take 3,000 photos a day and I upload them online and I stay consistent and upload 60 photos on myself into Instagram. I mean, other people can do six posts. Up, I mean, other people can do up to six posts a day. Otherwise, they get blocked on Instagram. I mean, they post six photos. I post 60 photos of myself. I mean, they're posting of travel photos. I mean, they're posting of the moon. I mean, they're posting of a house. I mean, a house for them is much more important than their face. I mean, the dog is much more important than their face. I mean, they put a dog on their display screen. I mean, they put a dog as their profile picture because they love the dog more than they do themselves. I mean, they love their house and their backyard much more because they're promoting it. I mean, they're promoting the world much more than themselves in life. I mean, you'll understand that I stand for something greater so I promote my face because guess what I do it for something greater although I'd rather look at my face than something else because guess what when I look at something else other than me I lose myself I lose myself never again because guess what I never lose myself because I'm always loving myself much more I love to look at myself I realize that when I take 3,000 photos every single day as a model and I do all these poses as much as I can I learn something each and every time about my sexiness and how I can be sexier I promise you, although that it's a growth experience and I love to enjoy myself in front of the camera and modeling and posing because guess what? It makes me feel attractive. I mean, I feel much better than yesterday and I feel as I, I, feel as a, I feel as a better person does. Because guess what? I am the better person. I'm the person who is the way to go in terms of life. So guess what? No matter what, you never go for me, you go for something greater. You understand that no matter what, that many people here are playing music around here and you understand that no matter what happens, I just will go along with it because you understand that those people who are really foundational in what they're saying are really going to be people who are really doing something greater. You have to understand that those people who really, really interrupt your video, you realize that no matter what, you never get offended, although you can stop the video now and you can realize that it's only a better way to do so. You understand that no matter what, guys, I will also make sure that you guys realize that you be a person who's conscious and much better than yesterday because those people who really, really need to disturb you, I promise you they don't even know what they're doing. You understand? Because those people who disturb you are really never even on your side. I mean, they're on their side and you have to understand that you must be on something greater. You must be something greater in life. I mean, you must be on the greater side of things. I mean, never even be on your side. I mean, be on something greater in terms of life. I mean, be on a greater side than you. Because there's always something greater to do. You have to understand, you just keep going and you realize that those people who are distracting your video are really annoying you. So guess what? I'm never even annoyed. You have to understand that no matter what, I'm rich or better because guess what? You never be annoyed about what's going on. You just flow with it. You flow with what's going on and you have to adapt to what's going on in the outside world. You have to understand that you're never the outside world and what's inside of you is you ultimately. So what you do in life is you never look to see what's happening out there. You only look inside because that way you can be more flexible and solve your own problems because you never go to people to solve your problems because guess what? Those people will never solve your problems. I promise you the only person that can solve your problems is you because guess what? They'll give you all the ideas although you must apply them. You must realize that when you apply them, you've solved your own problems. I promise you nobody else has. I promise you, somebody may have given you an idea to solve many problems, although you applied it and you did it. You understand? Because that is the way of life. You need to realize that wisdom is going to unlock you to become a much greater person. So go and find it. I mean, it's inside of you. I mean, it's inside books. Although you go to books, you read it, and you realize you apply it. I mean, when a book says success, I mean, you go and read it and you become success. I mean, you become that book about success. I mean, when a person's much more successful, you become that person's habits. I mean, it's about the habits. I mean, when I look at people, I never look at the people and how they are, although I look at them in terms of their habits only. I look at in terms of how they're speaking and how they're dressing and how do they walk and how is their persona and what are their habits in daily life and what are their backgrounds in terms of how much do they travel and where are they from and who do they know in life. I mean, let me see the Instagram too. I mean, once I see the Instagram, I already see the person. I mean, once I see the person is listening to music and with their voice, I understand they're already really going to be unsuccessful in life. I mean, they're going to be unsuccessful. You understand? Because guess what? Being with the voice is never going to get you anywhere. 
You understand? I was with the boys. I was with the boys. And guess what? I turned into a baby. I turned into a baby because guess what? I learned to be a better person. You understand? Because they're very old now, those people. You understand? And what changed? Because I left the crowd. I left the crowd. I'm feeling younger than ever while they're feeling older. You understand that being the boys, I mean, being the boys is really, let's say, you need to understand. You need to be better than that. You need to be better than the boys. You need to be better than what you are. You be yourself in your own essence of who you are in terms of a grade of goodness because that is the way. Although, you understand that being is the way to go. So, when you're being the boys, you have to understand, you go and be something greater. You be something part of something greater. You have to understand that when you're being the girls, you never be the girls. You be something greater than the girls. You understand? Because, guys, be something greater. You understand that no matter what, I was with the crowd. And guess what? It led me nowhere. You understand that no matter what, in hostels around the world, most people are going to be around the crowd. And they're going to do nothing. And they're going to discourage you. I mean, everywhere I look, people are discouraging me in life. And guess what? I'm still lifting because guess what? I go to the ones, I go to the ones who are encouraging me. I mean, I go to the ones who are encouraging me to do something. I mean, I find them online. I mean, there's only 1% of them that I follow. I mean, I follow their ideas. I follow their books. I follow their wisdom. I, I follow the positivity. I follow the positivity. I, I mean, I follow the positive trend. I, po I, follow, I follow the positive and positivity trend. You have to understand that those people who are loving life are going to be much more useful. So be a useful person. Make sure that you're a person of value. Make sure you've got something happening in your life. Make sure that you're always running a better way. You understand? You're never running a muck. You understand? You're running a muck in a better way. I mean, you're doing something much better. You're never running a muck in the first place. Because guess what? That way, you're going to be much more flexible. You're going to have more time. You're going to have more freedom. You're going to have more money. Because you're bettering your habits. And you're also bettering your health. You have to understand that those people who are always foundational in what they're saying are going to be greater in what they're aspects of life are so guess what guys no matter what happens just be a better person and see that those people who have a better life can always do it much better you need to be greater in what you're doing and you need to realize that no matter what happens never let anything get to you understand i mean never let anything get to you because guess what otherwise you are easily disturbed about what's going on in the outside world i mean be a person who's really learning from what you're doing and be a person who's really saying something much greater than what you're doing I mean, never be offended about music in your video because somebody else put some music out there. I mean, I don't care about them. You understand that no matter what, you just be a person who's really doing your video anyway. And you have to understand that I apologize for people who are doing these videos because I never apologize for them. I apologize for something that is out of my control. You understand? Because guess what? I have to realize I have to do my video anyway because guess what? I never let them get to me now. I never let these people get to me because guess what? I, I realize it may be I realize that it may be embarrassing right now for me to do this video because there's some music playing around in the background. Although I'm not embarrassed, I'm not embarrassed because guess what? I'm doing much better anyway. I'm always positive and I'm never affected about other people and what they're doing. I challenge these people to put the music up much more because guess what? I love it. I mean, I don't love their music. I don't care about their music. You understand? I hate nothing in this life. I hate nothing in this life. Although, guess what? I never care about them. You understand? Because guess what? I care about something greater. You understand? I care about something greater and I'm always unlocking a true potential in me in terms of I. Because guess what? That way, I can do greater. I can do something much more greater than yesterday. And you have to understand that flexible people can always find a greater way. They can always do something greater. I mean, today I had to go whale watching and guess what? I realized that they dissed me. I mean, there's no chance for me to go whale watching anymore because guess what? I'll never ever go again because I tried the first time and it never worked. You understand? So guess what? Whale watching is never for me in this lifetime. You understand that no matter what, you be a person who's really number one in your life and you be a person who's really doing something much greater. You understand that no matter what happens, that there's always something greater to do. I mean, when it doesn't work the first time, I mean, it will never work again. I promise you that you never keep going after the first time. I mean, once you go the first time and you do it, I mean, you never have to do it again. I mean, you have to understand that when you do it the first time, you relax and you grow. You have to understand that relaxing alone is a comfort zone. So never be in your comfort zone. Otherwise, you're going to be that person who is stuck in life. I mean, you have to understand that in a video, you can teach people how to do anything in life. 
so make sure that you're always teaching business and how you can be more flexible and also how you can do everything much more in your own way. You need to be that type of person who's really growing and find some skills to say. Find something to say that's really going to encourage the audience to really give more. You have to give more. You have to give more in a way that is going to entitle people to take action. So realize that taking action is key to success. So be a person who's more successful. Be a person who's more courageous in what you're doing and saying and realize to walk your talk because no matter what those people are going to be more like Jesus and also are going to be more in terms of life because those people who are honest are never hypocrites I mean they're never hypocrites you understand so be a person who's never a hypocrite and be a person who's really doing what you're saying because guess what you never follow my words guys you follow what I do and what I do is what I say you understand so guess what you follow what I do because that's the most beneficial aspect of a better life those people who are better in life are going to have a much more inspirational time and are going to be much, I mean, they're going to be much able to travel the world and to have a freedom type of lifestyle because those people have vocabulary skills and they have the communication to back it up and the knowledge to back it up because they've been doing it over time for a certain period and they've been always going into it. I mean, you have to understand that it's either you work the nine to five or you do something like I do. I mean, you have to understand that no matter what, I'm an entrepreneur and you can always do something in terms of video and audio and podcasting and journaling and quotes around what you love to do. So no matter what, it's either 9 to 5 for the next 50 years or go and create your own opportunity and go and brand yourself in your face and go and become an entrepreneur of your own name and make your own legacy. So you have to understand, it's either one or the other. So I hope that you create your own legacy and realize that the 9 to 5 job is never for you. And realize that the 9 to 5 job is never for me. Because guess what? I'm much more important than the 9 to 5 job. I'm more than me. You understand? Because I love to grow me. I love to do something greater than I. And what is that? I love to grow. I to seek for ways to grow. I mean, after this video, I'll upload this content. I'll make sure to read. I'll make sure to continue to read. I make sure no matter what, I will be engaging and doing some marketing today. I'll have to go into Byron Bay and just walk it because no matter what in the next few days I'll have to go to Brisbane and then go to Darwin because no matter what guys I have to keep moving I have to keep moving I have to see Darwin for the first time I realize no matter what happens guys you just realize you need to travel and you never be in one spot you never be in one spot because those people who are stuck in one spot are going I mean they're always in their comfort zone I mean they're going to be people who are less successful than the ones who are moving so be the person who's moving and guess what even though the coronavirus is going on today guess what i'm rising guys i'm i'm a person who's really growing and i'm really successful and i'm more successful than yesterday even when people judge me i don't care that they judge me and guess what i have people who judge me i don't care i'm really not the judge of life i'm the judge of what's better you have to understand that no matter what i'm only doing something better in my life i'm never judging in the first place I'm never judging anything because guess what? Never be a judgmental person because judgmental people who judge you based on what you said are people who treat you like you treat yourself. I mean, you have to understand that they treat you less than what you deserve. I mean, you have to understand that when you're treating others like you treat yourself, I mean, that is the best ways of life. I mean, that's the best way of life. I mean, when you're treating others based on how they treat you though, I mean, that is doing nothing for something. You have to go and give love freely and be a free person and you never copy other people and how they treat you. You understand? You never copy them because that's what people who treat you like they treat themselves. I mean, I treat you like I treat myself because guess what? That is the way to go. Although, those people who, for example, where I would treat you like you treat me, I mean, that's never the way to go. You understand no matter what, I'm always doing better than yesterday. I'm always a person who's treating others like I treat myself. So I realize so I treat myself much better because that way I'll treat everybody else much better. I always think about what is much better. I never think. I just do it. I just do what's much better. I only see much better. I never think about it. I mean, I make sure to always do something prosperous and abundant. And something that's going to help somebody. I'm always helping myself in some kind of way. I need to overcome this day today. I have to make sure that I'm planning today. I have to make sure that I'm on the offense about today. I have to realize that in my room here, I have a cold room today. And no matter what, I just chose it. I said, I choose, I choose this room now. I choose this room because I chose it. I will, I will break through it. I'll make sure I will leave this place in two days and I'll go somewhere because I booked for two days. So no matter what, guess what? I don't care. I now am much more than coldness. I'm doing this video in the coldness. 
I don't care because guess what? It's going to strengthen me and it's going to make me much more a peak performer. And I have to go anywhere out there in the cold in Byron Bay because it's winter today. And guess what? No matter what, I have a jumper. I have nice, beautiful warmth. So no matter what, I have something to say and also have somewhere to sleep. So guys, no matter what, I have money and just be a better person. You understand? Just be a better person because your money and everything that you have is totally up to you when you're bettering your habits you have, you have to understand you better your habits you be a person who's bettering everything in your life although when you're bettering your life you're going to realize that more abundance is coming into your life so no matter what be a person who's always on the offense about it i mean be on the offense about being flexible i mean be on the offense about staying away from a nine to five job i mean never even work it because guess what you need to start reading too you need to realize that reading goes hand in hand with being a better person and also making sure that you can better your life because those people who are really never distracted are also people who are never nervous and i mean they're never anxious either you understand that no matter what you be a person who's really doing something foundational in your studies and study something much more in life i mean study something that's wisdom because in wisdom you have internal life i mean you'll always be able to give wisdom i mean when you have no money to give some i mean when you have no money to give to someone just realize that money is wisdom you can always give something of your story to somebody and some experience that you had because that's a gift you understand because a sentence that can help somebody is much greater than a thousand dollars when you give it to somebody you understand you have to understand you have to understand that no matter what the money alone will never solve any issues you have to understand that you need to realize that only wisdom will ever solve a problem you have to understand that money never solves problems i mean money is only made easily by wisdom i mean the more wisdom you have the more money you have so get smarter because that is how to become flexible and those people who read i'm going to be much more aware and awareness is smart so no matter what the more awareness you have the smarter you are i mean the more information that you download i promise you the more awareness you download so be a person who's just reading constantly something that's going to grow you i mean you can always try and actually do you never try anything in life you go and do personal development and health and you go and do religion and spirituality and you dive into it and you realize to keep communicating and read some communication books i mean read some successful books i mean read people who are really successful i mean read from those people who are really successful i also never beg anybody you have to understand that you never go and beg on i mean you never be a beggar you never be a person who's begging people and you never beg people for anything because guys i never need your sympathy i never need your sorrow i never need you to be a poor person because poor people are beggars i mean they beg people for something I mean, they're begging for money. I mean, they're begging for sex. I mean, they're begging. I mean, they're hoping for it. I mean, I never need you to hope. I need you to realize that you hope. I need you to realize that you hope. Although, I never need you to beg. You understand? I never need you to go on your knees and to beg somebody for anything. I need you to go and get it. I need you to realize that you take action. I need you to realize that you go and hope and you be a person who wishes and who wants something. Although, you realize that your wishes and wants will never get you there. I promise you that you may be a hoper too. I promise you that hope is going to keep you alive. So make sure that you have your hope there and you have your wants and wishes. Although just realize that you need something today. I mean, you may want the Ferrari today, although you have to work for it. I mean, you have to work for something greater to get it. So guess what? In order for you to attract the Ferrari in your life, you have to go and start taking some action and start teaching something. I mean, start teaching something and start becoming a legacy today and get popular and get some attention and make sure that you're always growing. And be a life coach or a life analyst and be a knowledge broker which is the same thing and you will be a person who's always giving information to help somebody and that way you're going to be a much more kind individual because you're doing much more kind acts of love and that way it's going to compound interest in your favor and as albert einstein said that compound interest is the most powerful tool in the universe so guess what no matter what the more people you help the more it's going to compound in your favor and you're going to uh, you're going to increase the abundance in your life and you're going to become rich in other ways and somebody's going to say here's a ferrari man because you helped me so much you understand because no matter what you understand that you may be a woman and the same thing will happen you understand because guess what the woman derived from a man you have to understand no matter you have to understand that we are all sons of god i mean we're all children of god you have to understand no matter what that i put emphasis on people I mean, the woman is just as important as the man. You have to understand, no matter what, you be a person who's really increasing equality and be a person who's equal to everybody, although be a superior person to yourself. I mean, be a superior person for something much better. 
I mean, be a superior person for yourself in terms of something much better. You have to understand that you're not in competition with other people. You're not chasing other people. I mean, when other people are running across the lights, I mean, you're never running to overcome them and to run faster than them. I mean, you're never in competition with them. You have to understand that other people are going to walk past you faster than you do. And it's never about how fast they walk in daily life. You have to understand it's about the marathon and how fast are you going in life. I mean, that person can be a faster sprinter than you in terms of a 100 meter race. Although, how about in spirituality? I mean, how about when we grow together? I mean, you may be a faster grower than that person. You understand that no matter what, you be a person who is a great communicator because that is your number one asset and skill to sell and to be a salesperson who can really help your life succeed. Because guys, sales has everything to do with telecommunications and telecommunications has everything to do with communication. So the more you have dictionary in your life, I promise you that is the way to communicate because guys you have a dictionary and you can all go and relate the words together and you realize that you have a better vocabulary and that way you're going to get richer and you're going to get smarter and you're going to be more aware and then you're going to start connecting the dots and then guess what you become a teacher and then you become fame and guess what it's never for the fame you understand it's never for the fame you're you only become famous because you helped so much i mean you inspired so many people you understand because guess what that those people who have fame, you have to understand, those people who have fame are the ones who inspire the most. I mean, it's never for the fame. You understand? Because those people who have fame and never inspire are really going to tumble down really quickly. You understand? Because guess what? To inspire daily and to wake up daily in joy and happiness and much more happiness than yesterday is the whole point of life. You understand that no matter what, those people are going to be more foundational and are going to be much more serious about their work. And I'm going to really tie down in a much better way. You have to understand that no matter what, you be a person who's really looking at your communication skills and be focused about what you're saying in daily life and be a person who's really coaching something for nothing. I mean, something for nothing is this video. I mean, I gave you something and you gave me nothing. You understand? I mean, you have to understand that I never expected anything from you. I never expected you to come here in this video. You have to understand, I gave the video. I gave some free love here. You have to understand, I never expected something in return. I never said for you to send me anything for this video. I just, I just gave you something, you understand? I mean, I, I appreciate your attention. I appreciate your time. And guess what? I thank you for coming into this video. Because guess what? I gave you something. You have to understand that when you give something, you're always going to have more attention. So make sure that you're that kind of person who can lead people. And look at my attitude throughout these videos. I mean, each and every... I mean, each and every video that I do is a much better quality than yesterday because guess what, my communication and my maturity in terms of my communication and who I am, I mean, my youthfulness is always getting younger, I'm always feeling younger, I'm always feeling better and that's the whole point because my attitude is getting better throughout my videos. You understand that no matter what, I get better over time. I mean, I'm always getting better because guess what, I see results. I mean, I can go into Townsville inside of my videos and I can see how I was. Back then, I mean, that was four months ago. You understand, no matter what, you be a person who's really a better person and be a person who's really able to give more videos and more knowledge and more material in terms of wisdom to help somebody because it's going to always come back in your favor. And it's, I promise you, and it's going to help you to succeed. And make sure that in your communication, you realize that when you get to a certain stage where you're able to communicate and you're able to be ahead of the crowd and what you're saying, and you just say you're able to speak and you're able to realize, you're, you're, you're able to realize that. Each and every time you speak, you're just ahead of the crowd and you're always diving in and you're really sharp in what you're saying and you're backing it up and you're being a person of integrity and you're a person who's fascinated about life and you're really interested. I promise you that when you get to that point where you can really better yourself and you can really start to teach and you can really do these videos such as I, I promise you that is the turning point in your time. I promise you that is when you're at the prime of your life. I promise you that's when you're better than ever because... I'd rather listen to somebody who can do these videos than somebody who can never do them. You understand? Because guess what? You can see the skill asset there. You can understand that when you have me as an asset over here, you have to understand that I'm your asset. I'm your friend. So I'm only a person who's lifting you in life. And guess what? I ask for nothing in return. You understand? I ask for nothing in return because guess what? I'm that type of person. You understand that no matter what, when I ask for shares, you have to understand that I ask for something greater. I mean... When you share this video, you're never doing it for me. You're doing it for something greater. I mean, you have to understand that those people who never follow me are never following me. I mean, they're following something greater than me. You understand? Because I stand for something greater. 
I mean, when you reject me, you also reject Jesus. You have to understand, because I'm more like Jesus today than ever. You have to understand that those people who reject others are rejecting also Jesus. You have to understand that no matter what, that most people are never Jesus, although there are people who are following Jesus, and although you have to understand that rejection is a part of life, and you need it, although realize, just never reject yourself. You never reject yourself, although rejection will make you stronger. I mean, when other people reject you, and that woman goes for the other man, because the guy has a bigger muscles than you, I promise you that you just go and grow from that, and you go be a better person for it. Understand? You let it go. You let it go, and you realize that many women go for materialistic aspects of life. I mean, they rather, ma I mean, they rather go for a man who has a Ferrari than a man who has a bicycle. You understand? Because the guy has a Ferrari. You understand? Although the guy who has a bicycle, I mean, the guy who has a bicycle is much smarter than the guy who has a Ferrari. You understand? Because there is people like that. You understand? You understand? No matter what, just because you have a Ferrari doesn't make you the smartest man in the world. You understand? You understand? No matter what, the other people have ten Ferraris. You understand? Because guess what? You have to understand that no matter what, that Ferraris will never get you anywhere anyway. You have to understand that. People who are teaching more in some aspect of life deserve it in terms of life to teach you something of their lives. So make sure that you're always being a person who is accumulating more. And I've got nothing against Ferraris. Although, guess what? When you're going for materialistic aspects and when a woman or man is going for a material aspect of life, I promise you that they're really in misery and they believe the guy or man or woman can provide for them. I promise you, although, that you be a person who never cares about them and what they're doing because guess what you need to be a person who's much better than yesterday and focus on yourself more because there are many people who are going to try to hurt you and make you jealous and i promise you they're going to start kissing in front of your face and they're even going to have sex in front of you in a hostel such as what happened to me before you have to understand i'm not a victim although you have to understand that when you're a person who is really living life you're going to understand to experience something much better than what you have today and you need to grow into it. I mean, Zig Ziglar said that in order for you to become a millionaire, you have to see it first. I mean, I already see it now. I'm already a millionaire. I'm already a billionaire. Because guess what? I can grow. I mean, now it's a journey. I mean, now it's enjoy the process and grow with it. I mean, now it's be on the offense every single day and create videos at any opportunity. I mean, create videos at any opportunity that I get. I mean, this is an, opp I mean, this is an opportunity for me to do a video because there's nobody... In my hostel room, except I and Jesus, you have to understand the matter what that Jesus is I, because I mean that Jesus is I, because I equate myself with Jesus in terms of equality. So be a person who's really foundational in what you're saying, and be a person who's really strict on yourself in terms of being tough on yourself, so you can live an easier life. You have to live an easier life, so you can be a better person. And when you're living a better way of life. You're going to realize that there is a better mentality in you and a better consciousness. And it's about greater consciousness to live in the feelings. Live in the feelings because your feelings alone are flexible. I mean, you can move around. You can be a person who can jog. You can be a person who can walk. I mean, you have no injuries. And that's a flexible way to live. I mean, those people who are injuries, I mean, those people who are handicapped and have injuries are people who are less flexible because guess what? They can walk less. I mean, when you're able to do less... You're much more handicapped, you're disabled. So those people who are not disabled are much more flexible, you understand? Because they can walk at least. I mean we can I mean when you can do something much more than yesterday, you're going to be a person who can really do something greater than others. Because guess what? Those people who are doing more are always more successful and more flexible. I mean, make sure that you're never causing yourself injuries. I mean, make sure that you're never cutting yourself, make sure you're never in violence because violence is handicapped. I mean violence is disabling. I mean violence I mean nobody loves to get violence. You have to understand that nobody loves violence. I mean, nobody loves to get killed. I mean, nobody loves to get their eye poked out. You understand? Because guess what? You need your eye. You need yourself. You need to love yourself more. I mean, when you hit somebody else, you're hitting yourself. You understand? You never hit yourself. You never cause drama in the world. Because when you cause drama, it comes back at you in other ways. I mean, what you are is what you attract. So when you're attracting more growth and when you're doing more growth in life, you're going to do something to better your life. And when you're bettering, I mean, when you're bettering your life, I mean, that's what you attract. You attract a better life. So do everything that you can every single day to have better karma. I mean, have better karma in life and be a person of integrity. So be a person who's always doing something better than today. I mean, do something better. To, I mean, do something better in life overall.
You understand? Because those people who are doing something better now than ever are going to be the ones who are really succeeding. So be a person who's ready. I mean, be a person who's always comparing in this moment. I mean, compare yourself with the moment. I mean, are you better than yesterday? Are you better than yesterday right now? I apologize, Lenny. Because those people who are really better than yesterday, I, re I realize that they are the ones who are really growing, and those are the ones that can teach you how to grow. Because, guess what? Sometimes a person can grow in sport and look much more mature and be more successful, although they have no clue in terms of how to teach. I mean, you have to understand that they can teach, although they never do it. Why? Because they don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it either. Although I step up in the camera and I teach you how to do it. Although they never do it. You understand? So who's the real teacher? Who's the better teacher? Because guess what? I'm better than yesterday and so they are. I mean, and so are they. So I teach you though. I mean, how about them? I mean, what's in it for them? I mean, for them, I never do it for them. I do it for something greater. You understand? That in their eyes, it's just they succeed and fuck you off. You understand? Because guess what? I at least teach you something. You understand? I mean, when you're standing as a better person, you're always a better person than yesterday. I promise you that is a role model, and I promise you that's positive. Although, you need to start teaching too. I mean, many people, and many also in terms of music producers, are creating the best music on the planet. Although, guess what? They never teach it. I mean, they're never teaching how to do it. I mean, what's the point in that? I mean, it's all, I mean, it's all in it for their legacy in terms of never giving you knowledge on how to be better than them. I give you knowledge on how to be better than me. Because that's how I lift you. I'm like your father. You understand? I'm, I'm like your father who lifts you above me. You understand? You understand? Because guess what? I'm selfless in this video. I'm helping you to reach a greater aspect of life quicker. Because I'm experiencing something that's m much more in life. You understand? So I teach you how to do it. I teach you how to experience much more in life as I do. Because no matter what, that is how to be a father. I mean, that's how to be a mother. You have to teach your kids. You have to teach your children. And I promise you that God will do the same thing. I promise you God will get in the video. I promise you no matter what, that God will start teaching you everything about how to live life. You understand? Because that is how to live life. I promise you God will never be in a 9-to-5 job. I promise you God will be everywhere. Although you understand no matter what, that God will do everything in its power to make sure that you can do better. You understand? Because in this world, you can get better. And that's what you must do. You must stand for betterhood. You must stand for something greater. You must stay flexible. You must stay in the greater hood of flexibility. You have to understand that flexibility is never be handicapped. I mean, flexibility is never be disabled and negative. You have to understand that flexibility has got to do with how fast can you go. I mean, how much agility do you have? I mean, how much athleticism do you have? I mean, how much smarts do you have? How much do you read a day? I mean, you have to read more and more. You have to look better and better because those people who look better and better are going to be much more flexible throughout life. You understand? You have to understand. Look better. I mean, flexibility has nothing to do with negativity. You have to understand that flexible is you're able to stretch. I mean, when you stretch this way, you're flexible enough to go all the way down. I mean, you're flexible enough to go all the way down and stretch. I mean, you can put your leg over your head because you're so flexible. You understand? You're so elastic. You understand? You're so you're able to go anywhere in life. You're able to do anything because you are the air that you breathe. You are the ocean that you see. You are everything in terms of this life. So be a person who can see that, and be a person who can imagine it better than you are. I mean, you you have to understand that imagining alone is never going to get you there. You have to understand that imagining has really got to do with your feeling and being in the moment. I mean, when you're imagining something, you're just really looking for a better way of life. I mean, to imagine is to live life. So. I, I did read a book that imagination creates reality. And you have to understand that imagination has everything to do with this moment. So be a person who realizes that. And you have to understand that re reality alone can get you there. I mean, imagination alone will never get you there. You have to understand although that imagination creates this moment. Although you have to understand that you need to take action. I mean, when you're just imagining, guess what? You can also make sure no matter what that you take action. I promise you that you take action and you be a person who's fascinated about life. You be a person who's really teaching it and teach something that you can to help others succeed because that is the only way to be more flexible in success and to be more flexible in what you're doing that's going to be better. Because those people who are really showing up for it and doing better than yesterday are the ones who are in this video and in terms of life 
doing videos and audios and podcasts and quotes and writing and are uh, doing seminars around the world and are people who are loving life much more than yesterday and they're looking better and they're inspiring. You have to understand that's the way to live life. You have to understand the way to live life is do it better than yesterday. You understand? So what are my plans for today? I mean, today, I have to make sure I'm on the offense about today. How will I do that? I get my journal. I start writing about how will I go about my day today. I mean, I have to be on offense. I mean, where will I go today? I mean, what will I do today? I mean, at what times will I do it? I mean, what else do I have to do today? I mean, what will I read today? I mean, how will I grow today? What do I have to watch from my mentors today? I mean, what, what do I have to shop for today? I mean, what else do I have to do today? What time do I have to be back? I already set the time because I have to be here in terms of I'm always here. I'm always here. I have to be inside my accommodation before 6 p.m. because I never like to go after 6 p.m. at night. I've got business to do. I make sure that I look for ways to grow. So what are my ways to grow? I look for reading. I look for mentors. I look for something greater. I always look for something greater only. I go towards my mentors, I go towards reading books, I go towards music also in terms of writing and also I write and listen to music at the same time. I make sure no matter what I get some food, I eat something, I make sure no matter what I do these videos much more and I go brand myself also and I have to make sure that I'm always on top of my branding in terms of my photos because guess what, I'm on the verge of never committing suicide because guess what, that's the whole point. And no matter what, I have to love myself and I have to be greater because guess what, I have a goal to do 1 million posts on Instagram. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, I can do it. I can do anything because I set my mind to it. I mean, my mind is never my mind. I set myself to do it in terms of something greater. You have to understand, I make sure no matter what, I believe in myself today more and more. And that's the whole point. You need to take it one step at a time. And you need to plan your day every single day. I mean, plan for today. What are you doing today? And how are you going to achieve a much better lifestyle today? Because the more you achieve it today, much better... I promise you, in 10 years' time, you're going to have a greater lifestyle. I'll leave you with that, guys. I have also to say that you share this video around for something greater than me. And no matter what, realize that you guys have a great... I hope that you guys realize that you have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.